You're still here, good. I was just getting ready to head back to work. There's soup on the stove. Hey, did you read this thing about the guy with the pet angel? No, but listen. It's an angel, you know, like from heaven, but it's his pet too. He has it on a leash, look. Anna, I got a client. You do? Oh, that's great, Stan. No, I knew you could do this. Well, I was starting to worry. I mean, I knew I could do it if I got a chance to do it, but, you know, six months, no clients, no clients, no business, no money, no office. Mmm, poo to that talk, Mr. Glum. You are going to make a million dollars and be the best life boss in the whole world. Life coach. The best one ever. So, what's he like? Your, your client. Who is he? Is she. She's a she, and she's a real bag of snakes. <laughs> nice enough, but a real loose cannon. I invented a new word today, overreactionist. That is a great one. Look, see, she's lucky to have found you. What does she do for a living? Actually, I don't know. Is she married? I'm not sure. Does she have any kids? It's important not to dive in with too many questions too early with a new client. Might scare them off. Mm, see how good you are at this? <laughs> I feel bad, though. I kind of lied to her, told her I had another client. Oh, wow, that's a white lie. You know like when someone says, does my bum look big? And then you say, no, it doesn't look big. But their bum really is like really, really big. Maybe, maybe you just told her the fib so that she would stick around so you can help her get better. You're great. Maybe you should be the life coach. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I can't even find my curling iron. I gotta head back to work. I will see you later, okay? Okay, hey, do you have any money? I spent my last cash buying coffee for my client. Mm, you big wheel. Yeah, there's $10 in the gorilla. I love you. Love you.